Running a Windows game on Mac has never been easier, especially if you own an Apple Silicon machine. Okay, so with the transition to M1 Macs, we did lose Boot Camp, and yes, that hurt. But in the process, tools such as Crossover have made Windows gaming easier and smoother than ever before. Hi, this is Lloyd, and welcome to Mac Gamer HQ. In this video, we'll teach you how to easily install Crossover, including the free trial, install games, and run Windows games on your Mac in no time. PS will also share the top free crossover games right now, so stick around until the end. First things first, what is Crossover? Crossover is an app that translates Windows commands into Mac commands in order to run Windows apps and games as if they were running natively on a Mac. This translation does require some system resources, which is why a true native Mac game will always run slightly faster. Installing and setting up Crossover to run Windows games on a Mac has never been easier. This is how you can do it yourself in six easy steps. First, download Crossover's free 14-day trial. If you're on the fence, you can download Crossover's 14-day trial. This trial includes the full version of Crossover, which means you can experience its full power before making a purchasing decision. You can find a link in the description. Next, install Crossover on your Mac. This step is self-explanatory. Just open the downloaded file and follow the instructions. Step three, open Crossover. Again, not the most difficult. Just head over to your applications folder or wherever you've installed it and open the newly installed Crossover app. Step four, install Steam within Crossover. This part used to be slightly more complicated, but Crossover 22 vastly improved the app's interface, and now the entire process is much more intuitive. Just search for Steam and install it. Crossover will automatically download any Windows component it may require. You just need to hit accept whenever a dialog box appears. Step five, launch Steam. Once Steam is installed within Crossover, open it. From there, a Windows version of Steam will open and you'll be able to buy, download, and or install any game you want, just as if you were running Steam on a Windows machine. Step six, install Windows game from Steam. Now that you're here, you may as well install some games. In theory, you can download virtually any game you want, but you should know that some won't work, especially those that have very aggressive anti-cheat systems. For example, Destiny 2. Bonus step, crossover optimization. Some games will require you to fiddle around with fixes and updates to run better. To get your bases covered, you should enable DXVK in the advanced settings pane within Crossover. You can find more performance tweaks on this Reddit post, link in the description. Final step, enjoy! Here you can see us install and run The Witcher 3 on a Mac for the first time. We did mention that some games will simply not run using Crossover. This is due to incompatibility issues with graphics APIs such as DirectX 12 or overly aggressive anti-cheat systems that flag Crossover as being an intruder and potentially breaking terms of service. That's the case for big games like PUBG, Apex Legends, or Valorant. Still, plenty of games will run absolutely fine, and some will in fact run really well. Three examples of excellent crossover performance games are Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, the excellent action-adventure game from Respawn Entertainment, The Witcher 3, one of the most beloved and popular action RPGs ever released, which we used in our example earlier, and Shadow Warrior 2, the crazy over-the-top first-person shooter from Flying Wild Hog. There are a lot more games that run great on Mac using crossover, but don't forget that nothing beats running a native Mac game. For example, Counter-Strike Global Offensive or CSGO. You can click on our Mac performance review to learn more. Thanks for watching and if you end up running crossover, let us know which games work best for you in the comments.